Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Norton from Tech Thing, and I'm here on Digital Trends today to help you wipe the data off your drive so nobody else ever gets a hold of it. Now, if you're getting rid of your old laptop or desktop, it doesn't matter if you're selling it, donating it to a charity, or gifting it to a friend or family member, you should wipe the drive before you give it away. Seriously, the drive, it contains your personal information, like family photos, financial data, your browsing records, your history. Hey, if you use it for work, could be some secret data from work. Whatever you leave on the drive, it's just gonna go to the next person that uses it unless you wipe or destroy the drive first. Dragging the files to the recycle bin does not count as wiping them or deleting them unless you've souped up your recycle bin with a tool like Eraser that wipes them by writing random data over them over and over. Seriously, just dragging the files to the recycle bin and emptying, it's kind of like taking the card catalog out of the library. There's still a big room full of books. They might be hard to find, but somebody knows how to look for them will find your files. Now, if you want to be utterly, totally sure your data doesn't go with your machine, get your trusty Phillips screwdriver out and remove it. You can use it as a backup drive, but don't just throw it in the garbage or the e-cycle box at your local recycler. Why? Because that info is still there and people can look at it. So how do you get rid of that data? If you're the handy type, you can pull the platters, the actual disks that the zeros and ones that make up your data are stored on and sand the surface of them or hammer them until they look all dimpled and cratered. A little crazy. Some folks just drill holes in the drive. There are companies that will professionally shred the drive for you while you watch. Think, will it blend? but with a much bigger blender with a lot more torque. Now, important safety tip, back up the files or data you want off that machine before you wipe or destroy the drive. Once that data is gone, it is gone and it would suck to wipe out your only copy of the baby photos or last year's Tyx files because you weren't paying attention and got all crazy with a screwdriver. OS 10 users are lucky. The disk utility can wipe a disk. So are Windows 10 users. Go to settings, update and security, reset this PC and remove everything. If there's an option in there like erase data thoroughly, your files will pretty much be gone, but a fresh copy of Windows will be there instead. Windows 8 has a similar feature. And by the way, if you're running an older Windows PC, you want total scorched earth on your drive, you'll need a program like D-Band, Derek's Boot and Nuke. Not the simplest thing to use. You have to make a bootable CD or use their Blanco tool to create a bootable USB drive to load it. But if you follow the directions, you could overwrite the data on the drive to a ridiculous degree, like days of erasing over and over again. You can download D-Band at dband.org and remember, just get the data you need off the drive first. People, I'm Patrick Norton for Digital Trends. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun erasing your drives.